With an FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead to this Saturday's FA Trophy match for at Chichester. Agi, a new competition, new focus. How are you looking ahead of this one? Yeah, we're in good shape. Uh, we've had a really good week on the training pitch. It's been uh, nice to have a couple of sessions Tuesday, Thursday, um, where we've been so Ramo Saturday, Tuesday for sort of past five, six weeks. It's been uh, nice to get a couple of good training sessions in. Um, done a bit of work off the back of last Saturday, um, which is good. Uh, you know, we feel like moving forwards when we get faced with uh, similar issues, we'll uh, be better equipped to deal with it. And then training tonight, brilliant. I mean, the energy and the, the atmosphere amongst the group tonight was superb. So, um, yeah, had a really good week. Just on the FA Trophy, it, probably not a main target for you this season, but still a competition that you'd be keen to go dig into. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's an opportunity to get to Wembley. Um, and it's the first time really I've managed a team where you think actually we could we could probably go really deep into the competition. Um, I've always had a pretty good record in it, always gone quite far, which is good. But it was normally this round where the sort of National League South and um, bigger teams come in, it tended to be a bit of a stumbling block at times. So just looking forward to the opportunity to hopefully go further and you know, um, looking forward to a tough test on Saturday in Chichester. Looking at Chichester as an opposition, how much have you been able to watch of them and, and what have you made of them as an opposition? Yeah, watch loads. Um, they're, they're a really good side. They're incredibly well coached. Um, Miles, uh, Dabba, the guys down there, they do a brilliant job. Um, I mean, they've, they've taken a club from step four, um, middle of the roads to get promoted being one of the dominant teams at that level and then at step three they're uh, they're uh, sort of ticking along very nicely they're a really good side um, probably from our pre-season schedule they were probably the toughest game um, so um, we'll be really respectful of the challenge um, and we we've done a lot of work on them tonight because like I said they're really well coached um, and uh, I know Miles and Dabra are probably just as stubborn as me in terms of like how they want to play. So I look forward to two teams not taking a backward step, having a good go, and this should be a really good game for the neutral. Um, both want to play attacking football, and uh, as I said, they're very good at it. Um, they play an unorthodox shape, um, which, as I said, we've done a lot of work on trying to deal with. Um, so yeah, just look forward to the challenge, but equally really sort of respectful of the fact it's going to be a, a tough game. I, I actually think Chester will probably be all right in our league. That's, that's my feeling. Um, and I think that's, again, testament to the quality of coaching that goes on down there because they haven't had a massive turnover of players from when they were step four to where they're now doing really well at step three and to the point that I think they can do all right at step two, um, which again, again like, just shows that how well organised that would be tough, be really tough. Looking at the team you've got available to you, just first actually looking at um, Jack Waterman and Kane Bills, two big news pieces on the same day this week. Just a few thoughts on, on those two. Uh, well, Wads, um, we are um, really disappointed with um, because it was unexpected. Um, and we'd sort of, we've planned for, um, to have Wads for a decent period of time. So for him to, be recalled is very frustrating it's obviously always the danger of loans um, but we were a little surprised um, as it wasn't expected but then equally he's been very good for us and he played really well and, and uh, I, I do think I think Wads could play in the league to be honest um, I couldn't really understand why I wasn't playing for something in the first place so um, hopefully he goes back there and does really well and uh, kicks on and then Kano um yeah, is is a huge loss, um, and we just need to try and squeeze absolutely everything out of him between now and when he goes uh, in the new year. But um, when I first come in as manager, he was he was the first player that I wanted to uh, make sure stayed on the journey with us. It was him and Joel, two huge characters, a massive in the changing room. Uh, yeah, Kano's a huge loss um, just on and off the pitch. I think he's been excellent this year. 
I think arguably uh, probably a couple of decisions we've made around selection last couple of weeks uh, where Kane has come out of the side I'm not sure whether or not that's been the best decision in hindsight um, I think we've missed him um, so yes it's going to be a big loss um, but like I said we're going to squeeze everything out of him between now and January and we've got plenty of time to address it and equally we've got some very good players in that position that can do a job and hopefully fill the void and looking at the squad for this weekend yeah. then um, who is available who isn't I know Glen Ray's probably serving a suspension yeah, yeah. Uh, Glen Ray's got four games um, not including the senior cup um, red card wise like it, never a red card I think you watch it badly mm. going back to source Similar to what I said after the game Saturday, it was player reaction that got him sent off, dugout reaction, which is frustrating, but then these things can happen. Um, so there'd be no Glenn, but other than that, we, um, I think we will be, obviously no Kane Wills, because he's away at the minute. Um, we will be at full strength in terms of you know, the squads. One, yeah, they, Jack Bates will come into the side. Um, and I think uh, I think he's going to do very well for us uh, he, he was probably a bit unfortunate to come out to the, the side when he did um, but whenever he's put on a worthy show he's played really well so he'll come into the side and we will be um, very competitive and very strong come to strong Saturday